what's up guys we're back again to see if we can win in clash route only using spells that's right all eight cards of my deck will only be spells no units no buildings nothing to damage down golems and if my opponents get the wise idea of going in for bridge bam i'm gonna have to wait centuries for my royal delivery or bar barrel to get on the map to make the challenge a bit more difficult i'm not allowed to use mirror and goblin barrel goblin barrel feels more like a unit to me than a spell sometimes and graveyard to me feels a lot more like a direct damaging spell attempting to win with eight spells in clash route is one of the most difficult challenges in clash route history so let's go jump straight to some grand challenges and see if we can assert dominance don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos thanks to everyone that's using critic hood sir tag making high effort meme videos like this one possible all right so jumping into this one against the unknown i feel like i'm playing against the pokemon right now Obviously, I can't activate King Tower with a Miner in that position, so I'm going to go for a Snowball and a Barbarian Barrel. Yeah, I'm dropping a little bit more Elixir than I would want to, but I do not want to eat that damage. Barbarian, go back! Okay. If only we had our best possible counter in hand. If only it wasn't our eighth card. Wait, the beautiful thing is he has no Elixir because he mirrored up a Miner on my tower. That Freeze and Graveyard is the ultimate combo. But I don't know. I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage here, but my deck is pretty defective, and you're running a Golden Knight. Oh, no. This is a tragedy. I need a snowball too. The rail delivery doesn't finish that off. Yo, I'm getting trolled. Champions are so good. Golden Knight's going to give him three hits. Oh, two hits. Okay. After we rail delivery and snowball, the fact that that thing survived is just a crazy factor. Okay. We know he's going to go in for a, a mirrored up miner in this position. So when he does, I'm going to preemptively bar barrel and I'll be able to clean it up. Let's go. So that was the spot where our King Tower doesn't hit it. So that's why we knew he was going to drop it there. If I go for a freeze and arrows, does it finish off a flying machine? I guess we'll find out, right? There's no better time to test it in a real live match. Okay, he's going to Electro Giant. I can't kill that, can I? Is there any way for me to kill the Electro Giant? If I freeze, maybe the Skeletons can start to swarm the E-Giant afterward and do some damage. It's basically like a Skeleton Army. It is going to kill itself, but it will finish most of the E-Giant off. Wait, if the E-Giant's frozen, it doesn't do the reflection damage. I just realized that. That's why the Skeletons were surviving for so long. Snowball Ray Delivery clutch up against E-Giant. If I beat E-Giant... That would be one of the most insane victories ever, right? <laughs> I have no way of killing tanks. I don't have a building. I literally just have spells. Oh my goodness. I might have to graveyard on the E-Giant and then use Freeze. That could work because it worked for me before. Oh my goodness. I'm going to graveyard and the other side because I need to get damage. I can't guarantee that I'm going to win any other way. So I'm going to Freeze here. We're going to get an Earthquake out of him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now he can't go in for a mirrored up miner on this tower. But can I stop the Golden Knight? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to say I can't, but we'll try. I'm going to go for a rocket on top of everything as well. The Golden Knight didn't die to a Royal Delivery rocket. If that doesn't scream broken, I don't know what does. We're going to arrows here, and with 38 seconds remaining, he just needs to E-Giant me on the other side, and I'm screwed, right? I don't have Mirror, but I do have Tornado, so see if this works out. I'm going to go in for a Royal Delivery, and then I'm going to go in for something else probably. He's logging. Oh, he's spending all of his elixir. We know he's going to be able to take the tower if he just miners me. Okay, I got a graveyard because when we got to make sure he spends some elixir here. If he doesn't, we're screwed. So I'm going to freeze. Skeletons are coming through. Oh my gosh, he doesn't know what to do. He's dropping a log. He's overspending. He's dropping a lot of elixir right now. If I can just get a tornado on top of the miner and he earthquakes, it's not going to be enough damage. Four seconds remaining, and we're going to hold the door, baby. The log was rolling in, but it didn't get there in time. I don't even think it did enough damage at tournament standard. Somehow, someway, we beat Mirror Electro Giant with Golden Knight without a single unit in our deck. And most importantly of all, we didn't have a building to pull the E-Giant. That is the first and only time that you will see an E-Giant get encountered by Graveyard Freeze. Let's get it. So we got a game against Princes. Honestly, I have no way of stopping Princes. Like, I don't even have log or any reset potential besides, like, tanking it with a rail delivery or freezing, which I just hope that you aren't staying true to your name. Let's just say that. All right, I'm going to Graveyard here, and I don't have Tornado to activate King Tower. I would love that. Uh, very unfortunate. I need to go in for a Freeze, and I also need to save enough Elixir. So, yeah, I'm going to Freeze immediately and then just use a Snowball on top of the, the rest of the Rail Ghost. Wait, this kind of worked out. Did a lot of damage to the Tower. We're probably playing against Pekka. And we're in a situation, not the best, but it's not the worst. I can kind of vibe with it. If I Rail Delivery and I Barbarian Barrel, it's able to clean it up with no Tower damage. Beautiful sight to see. And the Rail Recruit is going to tank for the Barbarian, right? Oh, well, if the Barbarian wanted to stay there, it would work. Okay, so I can activate King Tower with this Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard needs to be at full HP or very close to full HP. Otherwise, it's going to die to the other tower, and then you can't activate King Tower. So that's the timing, that's the placement, and that's the HP. Against Pekka Bridge Spam, I want him to peck in the back so I can rocket it. Not necessarily like a foolproof plan. He could peck at the river, and I could lose. So I'm just going to arrow the tower and hope that he cycles the peck in the back. Come on, man. You know you want to. Oh, stop it. 
I have such a bad card cycle to deal with this. I literally have to drop my entire elixir bank every time, like five elixir on top of that. Okay, the royals are meeting up, the royal delivery and the royal recruit. It's a match made in heaven. I guess there's just the fate that needed to be seen in Clash Royale. My graveyard, I can't necessarily do too much. Unless you just don't drop anything? I don't know. You're, you're not spamming us. That's really weird. For the most part, what he should be doing is playing aggressive at the same time that I go for a graveyard because it costs so much elixir to be able to defend. The skeletons are swarming him. I guess we're getting absurdly lucky. <laughs> Dude, if I'm able to defend this and walk away with a win, it would all be because of that King Tower activation and the fact that we were able to freeze on top of two units at once. Those clutch freezes are being fantastic. So with a minute left over, if I'm able to defend this P.E.K.K.A., I think we can make it happen. So I'm just going to rock it on the P.E.K.K.A. as quickly as I can. And we'll see if we're able to pull that directly to the King Tower. Nope. I'm going to go and pull that into the Royal Delivery. Goodbye. Sayonara. See you later. All right. I might have to Graveyard on defense, which is really scuffed. But it's the only available method to success here, right? I can snowball this back and then freeze afterwards. Oh, I really need to freeze this. But I can't hit the Electric Wizard 2. I, I would just... I'd be joking if I could hit at all. I'm going to Royal Delivery as well with the King Tower activated. We should be able to stop this in its tracks. Come on, Barbarians, just die. No one loves you, Barbarians. <laughs> if you Magic Archers, we got to go and stop that as well. Probably going to have to snowball this. And with 19 seconds remaining, he's not able to Fireball it with the Magic Archer not hitting. Woo, he has to cycle back to a Fireball. I don't think it's possible. I can pull the Bandit here and make sure it doesn't dash. It's not going to crash and it's going to die. Let's go. Six seconds remaining. He might zap and then try to cycle back to a Fireball. I don't think it's going to come down in time. Oh my gosh. That is one of the luckiest wins of my life. And you'll love to see it, baby. I feel like every single game today is not going to be completely calculated. It's going to be pure luck. All right. Time to unleash the eight spells. So you guys already know the deal. We got to start off strong with the arrows to pierce his heart and his soul and deliver a little bit of damage. Obviously, if we see a giant, that's not a card that I can counter. I don't have any way of stopping that right now. Do I just cycle a rocket on it to do chip damage? It feels really scuffed doing that, but that was literally my only option. I got a lot of damage on the tower. And I probably can defend with a rail delivery and a barb barrel, but he's going to graveyard me, right? What am I to do when I get graveyarded? Oh, why would you Why would you do that? This is extremely good for me. Oh, I know why he did that. He didn't think I had eight spells. <laughs> Makes sense. You would never assume that your opponent would have another spell to counter your minion horde after they drop everything on your tower. That is amazing. Like, I dropped my arrows. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, there's no way he's got rail delivery arrows and tornado. But, yeah, I'm sorry, man. That's what's up. Wait, uh, this is kind of scuffed. If I arrows this and then I snowball it back, does that stop the balloon fully? I think so. I believe it's basically going to be a fireball. Oh, no, that's that's horrible. I have to freeze on his freeze. At least it's not going to get another hit, but that was sad, man. What are you doing? Why are you running a minion horde balloon deck with witch and giant? I've never seen anything like this. Most of the time it's like sparky or it's going to be raged up giant with witch. Just nothing in the middle like this, man. Okay, so if I go for a graveyard, I need to be able to defend. Uh, I think I can do this. Maybe I can go for an arrows if he goes in for like a bait card. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, maybe it is the worst thing in the world. I can't necessarily counter that skeleton army without, you know, unveiling too much elixir. And I still haven't activated King Tower with my tornado. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to counter this? No, this is bad. This is terrible. This is horrendous. At least I have a Royal Delivery unit. There's something here, right? If I snowball this, are we able to stop it? Is it Royal Delivery? No, the Royal Delivery does not defend the Witch. <laughs> okay, so I think I'd be a fool to think that I could win every single game today. DJ well played our opponent. We're giving the 20 win emote and we'll peace out. A few pieces out later. It seems like if you play against a Giant deck or a Beatdown push and you only have Rocket on defense with Royal Delivery, you're probably not going to be able to stop their pushes. Giant is just simply way too thick. I'm going to go for Tornado, activate King Tower against the Hogwarter, take zero damage up in here, except on the King, which, you know, I kind of want to take that damage. Maybe we can arrow on the tower just to get a chip damage lead. Oh, I'm able to hit an Electric Spirit too. The simple things in life. Crushing a one Elixir cost card and dealing more damage to the tower. His Barbarian Barrel only gets one hit on the tower. Maybe the King Tower is able to help us out. Nah, the King Tower isn't able to shut it down for zero damage, but it was a nice thought. I'm going to Graveyard, and I can freeze depending on what he does. Oh, he used Earthquake. That's his best counter in his entire deck. Archer Queen is not it, Chief. That's going to get rocketed 100%. I could have frozen that, but I knew he had Electric Spirit back in cycle, so I was like, freeze the Archer Queen, I'm gonna have to deal with it afterward, and I don't really feel like procrastinating my homework out here. Uh, I gotta snowball that back, I actually am procrastinating my homework against this Hog Rider, and I will tornado it, it's not gonna get a hit, fortunately. Whew, let's go, baby! This might be one of the few good matchups in the entire game for us, but there's one caveat. It's not a Musketeer deck. Musketeer I can crush with a Royal Delivery, a Barb Barrel, and not worry about it. Archer Queen, it goes invisible, and it bing-bings my tower all the way down to zero. 
I don't want to see that, man. Okay, so if I graveyard, it'll go into an Electro Spirit. You guys already know the deal. I need to keep up with this card cycle. My card cycle is way slower, so that's going to be a problem. I'm going to Rail Delivery, and I'm going to Arrows on this, and then the Archer Queen should die. Hey, hey! It doesn't die! No! That still gets a hit through our... What are, this is a joke. This is a sick joke, man. I don't want to play against this right now. Oh, this emotional roller coaster is not something I signed up for. This guy is going to go for Hog Rider again. Doesn't get damage. You guys already know the deal. Maybe in Double Elixir, I'm going to take damage every single time against the Archer Queen and then just realize that that's a reality that I have to face. Rail Delivery should counter Archer Queen, though. I just feel like that's like not how the game should be working. Maybe I have to freeze it and then Snowball or something. That, that could, could work because he's dropping six Elixir. Okay, so I could rocket this as well. I don't think that's the worst play in my life. Maybe drop something else at the river like a hog rider. And we make a prediction and say it's all calculated. I'm going to rail delivery on the hog rider and then I can snowball afterward. And that might be able to stop it with no damage with the rail delivery getting us a hit. No, it's still going to get hit. Oh my gosh. Earthquake is out of cycle. So I'm going to graveyard. And I'm going to freeze. Yeah, that's really far away. So I think I could freeze on the skeletons and give value. Oh, let's go. He's barbaroing. He's not dropping Archer Queen. That's insane. That is so good because then he has to rail delivery. He doesn't, he doesn't have an elixir for the Archer Queen. It's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. This game is shaping up to be something scary. Most Hog Raider matchups, I would say I have 100 and I just win, but this is definitely a bit different. All right. We're going to tornado this, and then I can Barbarian Barrel. The Archer Queen's going to die. He's not even supporting it. Yo, that Archer Queen deserved a bit better of a life, man. You didn't want to save her from the, the, the rail delivery falling from the sky. You let the sky fall on her and completely collapse her hopes and dreams. Okay, he's going to go for another Royal Delivery there. Maybe arrowing would be bad. I think I have to just chill and relax. He's likely going to continue to spam at the river, so I'm going to go in for a Tornado for a plus one trade against the Hog Rider every time. I missed it, though. It didn't drop fast enough. Wait, what? Bruh! That, that totally did not drop fast enough. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. That does not happen very often for me, but maybe like one out of 100 times a card doesn't drop. Um, okay, so that's going to give him one hit on the tower, but I can Tornado it afterwards, so that's fine. And then I can Freeze. Please give me the freeze. If I get enough damage with this graveyard, I can rocket him out. He doesn't have any way to stop the skeletons because he can't afford the rail delivery. We're in a winning position. This game has been way too intense against Mr. Legend. Okay, if I rocket, I probably lose. So I need to go in for a bar barrel, a snowball, and a rail delivery here because he would just archer queen and wreck me. <gasps> Could I even kill that? Okay, I'm going to go for a graveyard and then I'm going to freeze on defense against this archer queen. That's the only way that I can defend it. Especially since he's going to go invisible. At least the invisibility gets worn off, right? It's not going to be invisible any longer. Yo, I'm so glad that the invisibility doesn't get frozen. That would be so lame. I'm going to go for Tornado again. This time we don't miss it. I tell you guys, only one out of 100 do I miss that interaction. One more good graveyard freeze and I'll walk away with a W. Please give it to me. This game is getting way too spicy and intense for me. I'm going to freeze and I think I hit the archer. I didn't hit it! Oh no! Oh no, guys, please stop it. <laughs> Archer Queen putting in mad work here. All right, we're going to arrows. We're going to snowball on the hog rider. We should be able to stop this in its tracks. Barbarrel cleaning up the hog and the Archer Queen. He's earthquaking. He's not going to have that back in cycle for the graveyard freeze, but he's hog riding at this exact time. I wonder if the rail delivery is going to screw me right now. I don't know if I can stop this. There's a rail delivery and skeletons about to encroach on my territory, and we barely walk with a win. That rail delivery was tanking for the skeleton, so I could have been in some serious trouble. Luckily, I did have snowballs. So I might have been okay there. Super clutch W against the Archer Queen. As you guys can see, even rail delivery plus a small spell doesn't finish her off. Against every other hog or duck in the game that has Musketeer, that would be such an easy win with the rail delivery and the bar barrel. Jumping into this one, you guys already know the deal. We're going to unleash our barbarian barrel and make our opponent feel like we have no spells left over. You can go and spam me, dude. You can go in for your hog riders. You can go in for your goblin barrels. There's no way I've got a tornado tucked away in the corner. Okay, so he's seen two spells. He probably thinks I've got like giant graveyard or something. The unfortunate thing that I am having to deal with right now is I likely have to rocket on that. It's going to kill the shield, so it will give me something. But, I mean, I still have to defend rail recruits. What a joke. <laughs> Can I defend them with a rail delivery? Yo, cannibalism out here. Let's freaking go. So here's the thing. I need to go and pull that away so it dies. Tornado doesn't finish it off, interestingly enough. I thought Tornado plus Rail Delivery would finish off a flying machine. Literally trolled me at zero HP. That's not what we want to see. So I might have to overcommit every single time that we play against flying machine. He's going to have a Tesla too. So this is not a comfortable deck that I know he's playing. Like most of the time, when you ever see Royal Recruits and you see a flying machine, you're like, ah, oh, Royal Hogs. I've played against this a bajillion times. But he's got a Knight as well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for a Graveyard and I'm going to Freeze. I don't think you're going to have a great answer besides Archers. So I can definitely Freeze those and get a ton of damage. So let's see what else we can get. Yo, he's got Dark Goblin too? No, man, this is terrible for me. That's horrendous. I have to eat the Dark Goblin. Oh, wait, this is good. 
He's going to give me a free Royal Delivery. And then I can Giant Snowball and then push that away so then we don't lose the game. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're still losing, but I think I've kind of figured out my groove. If I go for Graveyards and I arrow on the Dark Goblin and the Archers after I freeze, maybe we can win the game. The difficulty is the flying machine is never something that I can deal with easily. I can go in for a rocket here, as you guys saw last time, but I think that would just cost too much. So uh, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to arrow his last second in the right-hand side, and then we'll see if he drops anything else. Hopefully he does. If he doesn't, I'm going to go tornado everything in the middle. I'm going to focus the majority of our defenses on the right-hand side, and then I'm going to barbarian barrel here. So I haven't activated King Tower yet, but... I don't know what his wink edition is. He's going to spam a flying machine with a knight? He's dropping archers with the knight. What? <laughs> what are those? Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to hit my tower, even though I dropped my arrows as fast as I possibly could. Dude, stop that. All right. The fly machine doesn't die here, unfortunately. All of his random cards at the river are giving me some serious grief. Why does he have to have, like, six different cards that counter graveyard with the arrows um, coming down to finish off one of them, but not necessarily able to finish off all three of them? He's going to go for archers or dark goblin with rail recruits as well. Ooh, this is so scuffed. We know he's going to go on the right-hand side with a fly machine as soon as he... He sees that. Oh, the Royal Delivery somehow gave me the best value I've ever seen in my life. We'll take that trade. I'm going to snowball, and I'm going to go in for a Barbarian Barrel. Why do you think that you can guarantee the tower in the right-hand lane? What are you doing? You know that you can't take that with 12 seconds remaining. I can eat the fly machine. I can go in with the freeze. Yo, yes, please. This is going to be a W. There's no way he can stop this. This is one of the most ridiculous wins I've had in a long time. The dude ended up having three different good graveyard answers with the Dark Goblin, the Rail Recruits, and the Archers. And the Freeze was the MVP that stopped him from winning. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more crazy Mimi content, and have an amazing rest of your day.